Hello and welcome to a new lecture. Today I will explain about inbound calls, how we can configure inbound calls. As I tell you before, if we go to Zyko website, then we select IPBBX and we go down. We can see here this is U50. We can put multiple cards. For me, in our region, Middle East, we use two types of lines. We use analog lines. We can use it with four FXO cards, so we can put four analog lines, or we use SIP trunk. Maybe some countries they using four PRI lines, so you can put digital lines. But uh, I will explain for four FXO and SIP trunk. For GSM, same configuration. You will put card and you will put GSM cards here, like you can put one here, one here, and one here, and one here. So for now, if we go to Zyko, if we go to outbound control, uh, sorry for switchboard, and we go to trunks, we can see now I don't have any analog line. Why? Because I didn't put the card yet. Once I put the card, you can see now the system will detect four lines. If we put two cards, one JSM, one FXO, will detect eight lines for the JSM, four FXO lines. So I will post the video. I will just put the card after that i will come back to you okay now after i install the card you can see now the system detect four lines so once you want to put the card just shut down the system power of the system then you will uh, put in your card in first slot or in second slot and the system will detect it automatically but make sure when you put your card there is two sockets here just make sure you put it correctly uh, so you will not damage the card so now I have four lines. You can see all of them disconnected. I didn't connect any line, but the card is connected uh, to the system. So I will connect now one line. Let me connect it now. So now I connect first port. Now we can see it's connected now. So now we can make outbound calls. So to configure inbound and outbound calls, <coughs> first I will configure outbound calls. We will go to outbound control. Then we can see now dial rules and dial permissions. First we will go to dial permissions and I will click on add. We have default dial plan. We will not test it now. We will create a new one. I will name it. Sorry. Uh, First, we will go to dial rules before dial permission. I will create a new dial rule. I will name it global. So you can create <coughs> any dial rule you want. You want global calls. You want uh, national calls. You want local calls. For example, if you want to configure international calls. So this is international calls. The, uh, the dial pattern for inter international calls is Oh, sorry when I press shift X I close the video so I will select it from here X X X dot so what does that mean <coughs> you can see here X character if you hover on the help X means any number so X X X dot so I have extension range 100 101 102 so if anybody call three X's three numbers then dot then any number like four numbers send him automatically to fxo1 to port number one so that's mean international call i didn't restrict the call like for example in middle east we have national calls if you want to call, call mobile number you have to put 10 x's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is 10 x's capital huh so that mean i can call only internal and if I want to call external, I have to put 10 X's. That means 10 numbers, zero, 0 to 9. Any number from 0 to 9. But this one is no national. What that means, you cannot call international. Only 10 numbers. If you want to make it local, only inside, inside your country, you can call like uh, least line numbers. So you have to put 7 X's. I don't know about other regions, but in our country, 7 X's. That means you can call any number with seven X's, seven numbers. So for now, I will make it X, X, X dot. That means anything. If you want to call mobile, international, local, anything, it will detect. 
x x x why i put three x's because our extensions range three numbers so i do, don't want uh, the system conflict so if i call 100 it will go internally but if i call more than three x's three x's dot means four numbers that's mean x x x dot four numbers three x's three numbers and dot any number after this three numbers let him go international or let him go to fx01 any call if he want to call mobile international let him go so we click save so we name this as international after that we ha we will go to dial permission we will cre uh, create a new one we will name it as international also and for this dial permission you can select the available rules i will select this one why we have dial permission because inside dial permission you can create more than dial rule like i can create dial rule for local and national and assign them to one dial permission i will give you example to understand so i will click save i will click new dial rule for example i will click new, create a new dial rule i will name it call itsp so for example if i want to call our itsp here in middle east the itsp have number 900 and 909 so i will tell the system 9xx so 9xx but you have to put in capital so uh, we will put it here uh, sorry 9xx so 9xx mean if i want to call 900 or 909 let it go to line one so i will click save now I can go to dial permission then select on international our dial permission international then edit it then I can also assign this dial rule to our dial permission so I will assign it so I can ca call now international calls and I can call ITSP like 900 or 909 so this is the example about it so I will click save for now then I will go to extensions IP extension so I have extension 100 I will click edit then I will select the dial permission international we can create more we can create national local whatever you want we will see it after that example so I will click international submit and apply changes and yes so now we will test I want to create uh, I want to make outbound call so I will make outbound call from microsip phone so we will go here so I will call you can see the switchboard now if I click call now this one will be in orange color and red color so now as you can hear my phone is ring I cancel the call so simple like that you can create outbound rules for example if you have extension 102 you want extension 102 or 101 just call numbers within 10 digits or seven digits let's say seven digits so i will go to dire rules i will create a new one i will name it local then i will make here seven x's one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven okay that's mean only i can call our lease line numbers like locally in our country so any call it will go to fxo one you can select multiple fxo so if this one is busy it will go automatically to second one or third one and you can select the call method linear or linear cycle so linear it will go one by one or linear cycle it will go i think reverse so i will rem remove them but it will work even if you select all the lines so i will click save then i will cre create dial permission i want to give you simple point if you go to ip extension from here you select the dial permission not the dial rule if you select you will select the dial permission so because of that we create dial rule then we assign the dial rule to dial permission so i will create dial permission if you don't want to confuse you can na name it as p p character that's mean permission underscore local so for this permission for this permission 
I will give only local and ITSP otherwise it will not call so I will click save then apply then yes then I will go to extension I will change for example extension 100 I will make it only for local permission local and I will click save now let's try to call my mobile number again you can see now I can't call sorry let's just apply changes okay I will click yes now I will call again you can't call because why I didn't give this permission but if I call number with seven digits it will work with me like for example let me uh, grab any number just any number with seven digits like this number so this is seven digits one two three four five six seven so I can call now you can see directly I can call now it's working fine but 10 digits number it will not work I can call also my ITSP like so I can call the ITSP now so now I think you are familiar with dial rules you can control whatever you want if you want to make only restrict the user to call seven digits eight digits ten digits whatever you want you can make and also you can make rules like simple rules if I want this user call any number start with nine then seven X's like here we have in our country numbers start with nine then seven X's so it will work with him because not all numbers ten digits so I have to put like this dial rule so nine then one two three four five six seven so if he call any number this is called unified number in our country let him go to fx01 and I will name it unified number un underscore numbers and I will save it then you can assign it to any dial permission like uh, local you can assign then you click save then apply apply then it will work with you this is about outbound I want to give you also simple note for example if we go to trunks now <coughs> now we can see is connected this line is connected if I make call just focus here you will see it busy so if I call 900 now the status will change to busy we have three status busy connected disconnected for English, please press two. to serve you on the number that you are calling from please press one Ah, sorry you we will see it here you you have to focus here here in news so if I cancel the call now here in news will come back idle again now we see it come back idle so you can s monitor the lines also from the switchboard and trunks go to trunks so uh, this about uh, our lecture inbound calls outbound calls next lecture i will explain about inbound calls thank you for watching and goodbye